Hi, Loma Angels. So I'm going to go over the three Gucci scents that I have. Uh, if you're interested in Gucci florals, this is the floral collection. Uh, these are my thoughts. Now, I do not <laughs> review perfumes like everyone else. I don't really talk about the notes. Um, I just kind of tell you what it smells like on my skin. And if you and I are the same, you're going to like my recommendations. But if it doesn't smell good on me, I kind of let you know who I think would like it. So that's another thing that I do. But in the description box, you will see all the perfumes that I recommend that I like. And if you're like, wait a minute, I have a lot of the ones that she likes. We might be on the same page. All right, let's go. Okay, I got to find a fresh. Okay, I tried this one on. This is the Gucci Flora Jasmine. I put it here. It's beautiful. It's a nice Jasmine. If you've never tried a Jasmine, you might like it. My favorite Jasmine of all time so far is Jasmine Agnes by Christian Dior. It is pricey AF, but it's really nice, fresh, pure essential oil Jasmine. I used to sell essential oils. Um, not like doTERRA or any of that. Like just, I only sold rose and Jasmine. That's it. Any Lang Lang, but hardly ever. Mostly rose and Jasmine. So to me, it smells very similar to what I used to smell, like sell. So I like it. It's fresh, pure Jasmine. This it's like a softer, slightly powdery, slightly powdery jasmine. It's a more commercially accepted form of the of jasmine. And I like it, but not enough to buy it. But it's nice. So if somebody was wearing it or somebody gifted it to me, I would keep it. I would use it as a room spray. I don't think I would wear it out. I do love the Jasmine de Agnes, but again, the Jasmine de Agnes, I wouldn't wear out either. I would wear it for myself. I would spray it in my house. It's just, it's just so refreshing. It kind of wakes up your senses. So I like that one. So now we're going to pull these two out, which are the Gucci Flora Magnolia and the Gardenia. And I don't remember where I got. Oh, I got these from Gucci when I went to the Nordstrom event. Uh, they had a beauty trend event. Hmm. This is the Gardenia. And I generally love Gardenia. It's a, again, I feel like all of the Gucci scents are very light compared to just the actual oil in itself and there's a slight very slight powder almost like a cashmere wood or a cashmere that's like infused in the perfume that gives it this this subtle creaminess which i think is like the personality of the fragrance of the line so this is the same thing i don't even smell gardenia at all I just smell a floral with a little slight powder. Like if you had scented powder that smelled like floral, that's what it would smell like. As opposed to it smelling like, like a gardenia is a strong scent. Gardenia with a little bit of powder. It's nice. It's just not strong enough. Like when I see gardenia, I want to smell gardenia. Do you know what I mean? Like, I want to smell the gardenia. <laughs> but again, it, it's a more commercially accepted form of the floral. Um, magnolia. Okay. I want to like this one. Is that spring? There you go. Oh, this is probably nice. Every time I hear the word Magnolia, I think of the movie Steel Magnolias with Julia Roberts and Sa Sally Fields, right? Again, that's my, that's the Gucci line. A softer, more, not watered down, but just like a softer version of the original. Because we've all smelled perfumes where it's like, boom, in your face. Boom, jasmine in your face. Boom, gardenia in your face. Boom, magnolia. No. These are more subtle. 
more like, can you tell? Can you smell it? What is it? Gets. You know, like that. <laughs> Where it's like, it's magnolia. There's a slight cashmere powder to it. I wouldn't even call it cashmere, just like powder. They're, they're, they're not similar at all because they're all distinct. My favorite is the Jasmine. I just reviewed all these other perfumes. My favorite is the Jasmine of all of them. The Jasmine is the one that I'm considering because I've got the Jasmine from the Sephora set. It was $85. You get 16 different samples to try on and then you pick one and you redeem it for a one to 1.7 ounce bottle depending on what they're offering. Gucci's is a one ounce bottle. The other two I got from the, the Nordstrom event. So the Jasmine is the one I'm leaning towards the most. Even though I'm probably just going to use it as a room spray, an $85 room spray. Um, but of all of them, that's my favorite. The Magnolia is super soft. So if you smell Jasmine and you're like, you know, actually, no, I take it back. The Gardenia, I think, is the softest. Because, because the Magnolia has... A, I smell the Magnolia stronger than I do the Gardenia. I feel like the Gardenia is much softer than the Magnolia. But it also depends on like, do you even like these scents? Are these florals that ignite your brain and go pew, 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 and, ah, and make your eyes roll to the back of your head because they're so delicious? You know, if they are, then you you might like these. Um... They're not scents that I would gravitate to or pay for. And as you can tell, I do have quite a selection of perfumes. There's far more than that. There's, um, there's a lot more than that. There's over there and there's over there. They're everywhere. But this is my recording station. These I haven't even opened yet. Um, Yeah. So no more for me. I'm going to be giving away a lot of stuff in the next few months. Every 50 subscribers, I do a giveaway. So definitely check out my videos. I will let you know what I'm giving away. Of these samples, I'm giving away a bunch of them. I just need you guys to know, do you want me to give them, like, do you want me to do like a perf, like I could give it away in this bag because I don't care for the bag. Should I give you all the perfumes and that'll be a giveaway? Or do you want me to mix them in with skin and makeup samples and then do giveaways like that? Um, let me know. I... I did a review on this with the 16 cents. It was a hot mess. It was like an hour long. Um, Cause you know, you gotta let it dry down. And then I didn't like half of them just so you guys know. Um, they're all very different, you know, and we all have different chemistries and we have different preferences. So if you like my vibe, please subscribe. If you like my style, come back for a while. If you like the way that I describe the perfumes, you're more than welcome to watch my other videos. Um, but I try to explain how I feel about them because if we have the same body chemistry, then, you know, we good. <laughs> we good. All right. Well, that's what I have for you guys. Until next time, rock and roll. Uh, smash a like button, hit that subscribe button, and I will catch you later. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Um, hasta luego.